Happy opening day, everyone. What's going on? Might go back with another box break. Today, I am breaking a 2019 Topps Gypsy Queen Blaster Box. Super excited to get into this and to celebrate the beginning of the 2019 Major League Baseball season. Always a great day. Always exciting. Can't wait to see what this year has to offer. You have 47 total cards in this box, 7 packs, plus 1 bonus pack of exclusive parallel cards. So Shohei Otani featured on the front. You can get your blasters at Walmart or Target, $19.99. Hobby boxes a little more. Hobby boxes do offer two autographs per box. So not expecting a ton out of the blaster. Don't really expect hits. Probably a couple inserts and we'll see. Maybe a short print if we're lucky. Hopefully just some cool cards for the collection. Some nice binder material. It's all about having some fun, breaking some baseball cards on opening day. Opening day, one of the great days of the year. Something that's just very exciting. Everybody is in the race. Obviously, some teams go into the season with higher expectations than others, but we'll see what happens. So here are our seven packs plus five exclusive parallel cards. So we will put these aside. We'll get into pack one. Before we do that, let's take a quick look at the odds there, if anyone is interested in that. Yeah, the missing nameplate, logo swaps, bazooka backs, and all sorts of other parallels. So the retail, the big stuff, is definitely tough. So we'll see what we get. Again, all about breaking a box, having a little fun, and giving everyone out there all the collectors a chance to kind of see what 2019 tops gypsy queens all about so here's the look really nice cards a lot of color to them starting off with dylan bundy and byron buxton billy hamilton robbie ray and we hit an auto wow first pack of the year first pack of gypsy queen we hit an auto corbin burns of the milwaukee brewers so a nice rookie auto obviously a tough pull Close it out with Zach Wheeler. Let's take a look at that. Like I said, the autos I know are two per box in hobby, but retail have to be uh, quite a bit more difficult for sure. Looks like Gypsy Queen autograph, one in 59 packs. So one in about eight blasters. So really happy about that. Don't know a ton about Corbin Burns. I know he's certainly has a lot of upside. I have always really enjoyed autographs out of the Gypsy Queen product. They do a great job with the art. They do a great job of leaving a space that allows the autograph in blue to really pop. So that is nice. Put that one aside. Obviously, whatever else we get out of this box is gravy. So let's see what we get. All right, we've got Evan Longoria, Ramos Garcia, Dennis Santana. Got a fortune teller, Ronald Acuna Jr. So this insert set is back. It was around last year as well. Little tall boy action. Javier Baez and James McCann. That's what the back looks like. No statistics, but a little write-up. Nice color. I do like the Gypsy Queen product just a fun product to uh break a little bit of or just buy some singles either way load a few into the binders collect players you like always nice last year's were beautiful for autographs this year's look like they'd be a little dark in terms of potentially getting the cards autographed i mean it would work on some cards better than others but obviously it's just a small amount of collectors who seek autographs. There's a Roberto Alomar. That should be a short print. The Hall of Famers are short prints. So you can see number two, 302 of 320. So I'm imagining it's probably 300 through 320. It's a nice card there. Nice Justin Turner and Chirinos few packs to go. All right, looks like we might have a parallel in this one. We got Charlie Blackman, Jeremy Jeffress, 
Nolan Arenado. Blue parallel of Aaron Judge. So that is a nice one there. That is numbered to 250. So this is certainly a winner of a blaster. Nice parallel of Judge, a short print, and an auto. Well, there's a Ronald Acuna base. Very nice card. Two packs left. There's a Corbin Burns base. Suarez, Aguilar, Taiwan Walker. This is the uh, Tarot of the Diamond insert. Edwin Encarnacion. Pretty solid looking card. I wasn't a huge fan of him last year. I think I like the look of him a little better this year. The Tarot of the Diamond inserts. Alright, final base pack. And then we have the parallel pack. Got a Kyle Tucker rookie. Cabrera, Oduble Herrera for the Phils, Jacob Nix, Smoke, and Will Myers. Take a look. I know they do have different variations. I doubt the Herrera is one. Yeah, it's a base card. I'm looking at the code down here. That's how you can double check cards to make sure they're not variations or parallels. All right, let's check out the five exclusive parallel cards. Let's see what we got here. Looks like these are green. So we start off with an Oakland Athletics, Stephen Biscotti, CJ Cron, Aaron Judge. So a nice Judge color action in this box. Jose Abreu and Max Muncy. So definitely a really nice blaster. Here's a little look at what I got. I get a green parallel of Aaron Judge. Tarot of the Diamond, Edwin Encarnacion. Blue parallel number to 250 of Aaron Judge. A Roberto Alomar, short print. Ronald Acuna, fortune teller. And an autograph of Corbin Burns of the Milwaukee Brewers. So a really solid blaster of 2019 Topps Gypsy Queen Baseball. Definitely a cool looking product. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of Gypsy Queen. Are you a fan of it? you think you'll pick any up? If you've made a video, feel free to post down below. Encourage others to go check out others in the community. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.